bam, 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 right? That, that, that was that was the move the lady. And then I was like, clap, clap, <laughs> boom. See? Hey, that's, see, that's where that thing's been missing all this time. What? The token Asian. <laughs> token Asian. <laughs> now we got one. <laughs> Kev, how's your um, diversity and inclusive training going, buddy? My wife. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Watch out for this. Johnny's on the jukebox. I'll show you how they do it, right? One fifth. And. Big it. What, like? Yeah. Cover it. Good face. Yeah, all nice and relaxed though, on quite day. It's a uh, tower of the wizards most days for us. True. No, we, true, never, true. we never really uh, we never really get too excited. We try to keep things from the beginning of camp to the end of camp to walk into the ring. Very calm, very level. Yeah. Joe's blood pressure doesn't go up very much. You know. And the team around him, most of them are pretty chill. And Apart from David. <laughs> well that's why we don't see Dave here on the walk. <laughs> Wonder where he is right now. Hopefully he's having a nice, nice breakfast. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure about that, but <laughs> we'll leave it to the imagination of the viewers. <laughs> oh, here's Rob. Hey, man. He's made it back. Hey, bud. It's, it's a ritual that we've had. Uh, right from the very first fight that Joe and I worked together back in early 2013. And uh, gosh, uh, I remember in, uh, in Carter for the Joshua fight, it was freezing cold and we had, Murphy, what did we have, about 50 people on that walk that morning? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well we usually, usually got about, I don't know, nine to a dozen close mates, team members and did you used to do this in your fighting days as well? No, there were, there were no roads in my fighting day. <laughs> it was just gravel paths and horses. <laughs> so do you want to like, give a quick like, 10 seconds on each guy in the team? Who everyone is. This is Marpy. Marpy's Joe's right hand man and cousin. He's filmed and documented the whole journey of the last six and a half years. He's got Every, everything recorded mm -hmm. to uh, to all come out when we uh, re-win the belt. The yeah. movie will come out then. Why not, Murphy? So, Murphy, uh, Elizabeth, uh, Joe's uh, manager and sister. Right. Uh, he's had a few people over the years, but he's come back. With, Liz has a law degree, and um, he feels very very comfortable with her and she's doing a great job at the moment. Okay. Our mate Rob in front of that, Rob's from uh, one of your brothers yeah, from the, London. U from yeah. the UK, uh, been a, been a, a, a recent uh, add-on to our team, he's a great guy, a lot of fun, we like having him around. Beside him to the left, Rocky is an ex-fighter, Barry Galbraith, was one of New Zealand's greatest amateur fighters. Oh, okay. Uh, he's been a friend of mine since the age of about six. Barry has uh, been at every every one of Joe's fights. He was at the three fights in the UK. Um, all our fights are throughout New Zealand and Australia and Samoa, and of course he's over here. He's uh, he, he's our greatest supporter. Oh, good to and, hear. Uh, and and uh, a real close close friend of mine and Joe's. Oh. In front of that, uh, the Asian gentleman Sam Lee is uh, a character, definitely. A, 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 he is a great character, and uh, in a short period of time, has become a very good friend of of Joe's and mine. And uh, Sam runs a a very successful cosmetic company, and we're looking to uh, do a little bit of business with him at the moment. Um, but he's a guy that uh, we, we love having him around. He is, uh, he is a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, to the left, the big fella. Yep. Who's been, uh, he's with Joe every day. Uh, are they like best mates, him and Joe? They are very close, they're like brothers. In fact, you know, when Joe's in camp and his brother John and sister Liz are in New Zealand, you know, Tay is, 
his closest thing. Mm. And they do everything together. And he's in the gym every day. And he's you know part of my training staff. Him and I have just built a, a new facility in Vegas together that's that's uh, world class. And we think the, he's going to be the future. Okay. So I'm very very proud of him. Uh, gentleman with the, the black t-shirt and the hat at the front. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, at the level that Joe's at now, you know, lawyers and accountants are very important men. Mm. Scott's not just his accountant; he's his, you know, personal friend. Um, and he's at all the fights; has been for the last couple of three years. Uh, with the black hat on, is you know, Joe's probably closest mate in the world and uh, you know John John will be in the corner tonight with Tay and I yep and the big man in the middle the leader of, of the team the boss don't have to introduce him yeah <laughs> Kevin when gosh you... I'm pleased hey I'm pleased that there's only what's that three six nine ten so eleven small. I'm pleased we've only got eleven this morning like I said sometimes we get 30 you know, people 30, really? 30 yeah. 40 people and not <laughs> explain who everyone is yeah Kevin when you, I know we spoke about this yesterday when uh, Joe and Anthony fought and uh, the ref was a huge problem uh, you guys felt and a lot of the public felt that as well but uh, do you and Joe have any regrets uh, from that fight was there not much else you could have done you feel you know there were a lot of things that Joe knows and I know that he could have that he could have done better but you know both guys in that fight they both gave each other too much respect. That, that was, we had quite a long lead into that fight, and there was a, a lot of hype and a lot of build up. And I think, that, you know, uh, parading around the, the strengths and how both guys could beat each other. And I, and I think because of that, the, 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 the fight, mainly because of the inability of the referee to allow two guys to fight, but secondly, there was so much respect by both fighters towards yeah. each other. And like, if you look at the whole 12 rounds, there wasn't really one, one vicious punch landed in the whole fight. No, there wasn't, it really no. wasn't. <laughs> so um, so it was very much a, a, like a game of chess. And, and Joe knows, you know, like, Joe likes to fight. Um, and, you know, he knows he, he, he should have thrown a lot more punches. And of course, looking at the result of the Andy Ruiz fight recently, it even makes him a little madder inside saying, if only, you know, but the, hey, the thing, the, the thing is, you can never look back, you can never, you can't live in the past, you can only live in the present, and we're only in control of the, the, the things that we can't control now. That's happened, it's behind us, you got to, you have to learn from those mistakes, mm. learn from the experiences. Do you feel like he's in his prime right now? I, I, I really do, I, I think he's, I think he's coming into his prime um, I mentioned at the fighters meeting the other day that I believe that Joe's now getting his man body uh, and also mentally he's far more mature uh, and in sync with everything he's doing now mm. uh, more, more so than, than any other stage of his career. Mm.